cleanses the trip. And we begin with Al Faroff, a horse that we just heard about last seen finishing third in the King George. He's had a wind tweak and he's here as a fresh horse. This is Boulder's success, won a grade one here last year, but disappointed at Cheltenham last month and he's got to improve. Champagne Fever was a decent hurdler who's taken really well to fences. This looks his ideal trip, and again, he's a fresh horse. Four is Croco Bay, ran a blinder when third in the Grand Annual, but more needed here, and stamina to prove. And we've just heard about the chances of Q Card missed the festival due to a wind operation. He was second to Sprinter Sacra, back in this in 2013. And this is Don Cossack, uh, lost his winning thread when third in the Ryanair last month. He was second in the grade one and he's the mount of Tony McCoy. John Spirit definitely excels at Cheltenham on the old course, likely in my eyes to find one or two too good. He's 20 to one. And simply Ned, 25 to one, has pieces of form that wouldn't entirely rule him out. He's stepping up and trip and was fifth in the champion chase last time. And this is Sada Gruji, delivered in good style in last year's champion chase, but a little bit flat in this year's renewal, Joshua takes over from his brother Jamie. And finally, this is wishful thinking. He's just looked out of sorts of late. He's pulled up on his last couple of starts. On the plus side, he's a dual course and distance winner. Pelling, Betfred Melling, steeplechase. Yes, grade one action, more grade one action coming up. Cue card to the four. Expect him to be right up there under Daryl okay, Jacob. Come on. And away they go for what could be an intriguing race. Two and a half miles and 16 fences. And Q Card back from the injury he sustained in the King George. Leads over the first from Alfaroff in second place. Don Cossack, AP McCoy in the maroon and white jacket third. Boulder success on the outside of Wishful Thinking. The grey on the rail is Champagne Fever. Ruby Walsh in the pink colours. Then Croco Bay, John Spirit, uh, Simply Ned and Sada Grugy at the rear of the field. So on down the back straight now to their first open ditch and it's Q card out in front over this one in good style. John Spirit made a mistake and out of the race. Boulder Success has fallen. Boulder Success is out of the race and the horse is okay. I think Wayne Hutchinson was about to get up as meanwhile the other runners clear the last fence in the back straight. Q card from Alpha Roth. Don Cossack in third, Champagne Fever 4-5 is wishful thinking. John Spirit side Gruji, Croco Bay and Simply Ned at the rear of the field. Now heading towards the cross fence on their way back towards the home straight. And Q card over in front of Alfaroff screwed slightly second. Then Don Cossack, Champagne Fever on the inside in fourth place. Followed by John Spirit, wishful thinking. And then further back side of Bruges, held up by Josh Moore, third last. And the last two, Simply Ned, and in the yellow and the black sleeves is Croco Bay. On now towards the first in the home straight, Q Card really stood off there for Daryl Jacob and down at the back was Sider Gruji. Sider Gruji is out of the race. Josh Moore looked to have quite a heavy fall there. The horse is okay. Meanwhile, over the next, an open ditch. So two of them out of the race. The Mile Bay fences, they will invariably take a bit of jumping. It's Q Card that takes them along. Don Cossack moving up on the outside of him with in between them, Alpha off. And then uh, after these, his champagne fever has gone right uh, towards the inside in the hands of Ruby Walsh. John Spirit held up, wishful thinking, simply Ned and Croco Bay as they jump the fence in front of the stands. And uh, they are safely over. Looking back down the course, uh, side of Gruji has actually had a cutter jumping the chair. He jumped it a lot better than the first uh, plane fence in the home straight. Josh Moore is on his feet okay, being... Uh, looked at by the paramedics he looks okay he's uh, he's pretty sound i think because now they run towards the back straight and q car takes him along meanwhile side of Grugia entertaining the crowd he jumped the water jump on the national course they're about to run down the back q car from don cossack in third is uh, Alfaroff. Champagne Fever has moved well on the inside. Then John Spirit, simply Ned, as they jump the first down the back. Hugh Card is in a lovely rhythm here at the moment under Daryl Jacob. Such a swashbuckling jumper. Hugh Card loves the job. Don Cassack on the outside. Then Alfaroff. Champagne Fever continues to catch the eye from John Spirit, simply Ned, as they clear the next. After which was uh, wishful thinking on Croco Bay. Now they're racing towards the final open ditch. This 
this is six out coming up in the Betfred Melling chase. Cue card on the near side of Alpha Off and Don Cossack, followed by Champagne Fever breathing down their necks and John Spirit towards the outside. Approaching the last down the back, McCoy is pushing forward on Don Cossack and joins Cue card there. Alpha Off a little short of room on landing. As they prepare to exit the back straight, John Spirit is running a big race into third ahead of Alpha Off. Champagne Fever maybe a little tap for toe at this stage, then simply Ned Alpha for off coming under pressure as they swing this turn and head towards the cross fence croco bay and wishful thinking look well beaten off q card once again lifts off ahead of don cossack they're developed this is developing into quite a duel between these two q card a half length to don cossack who's coming back again on the outside traveling strongly john spirit champagne fever beginning to find his stride again having got a little outpaced then alpha off and simply Ned. this is three out q card on the far side got into play and Don Cossack has the advantage and Don Cossack has quickly gone clear of Hugh Card who's beginning to falter then John Spirit and Champagne Fever the second last Don Cossack met it on a tremendous stride sailed over in the hands of AP McCoy six or seven lengths clear of Hugh Card on the long run towards the final fence then John Spirit on the outside the others are looking very weary but Don Cossack who looked unlucky in the Ryanair chase at the Cheltenham Fence Festival he has one fence between he and another grade one win and Don Cossack is over safely in the hands of the 20 times champion jockey who may well retire tomorrow here at Aintree if the Grand National goes his way. This has got his way. Don Cossack wins in tremendous style from his second cue card who held on grimly in second despite wilting legs. John Spirit third, Champagne Fever, Alpha off. Both those well beaten, simply Ned, wishful thinking, and Croco Bay was pulled up.